Hi, my name is Dan and I'm a mental health pharmacist and today I will be talking about an antidepressant drug class called TCAs. TCA stands for tricyclic antidepressants and this works by increasing the chemical messengers serotonin and norepinephrine just like the SNRIs do but this is an older medication that's considered a dirty drug because it wasn't as clean to just serotonin and norepinephrine. It also affects histamine, so it can cause sedation. It also affects alpha receptors, which can cause low blood pressure and dizziness. And then finally, it can also affect muscarinic receptors, which can cause dry mouth constipation. So it's not as clean as some of the newer medications are, but it was one of the older medications for depression. The first TCA approved was imipramine in 1959, so this is an older class of medications. Uh, and it's still sometimes even seen today, so a medication for mental health that has survived that long is quite impressive. There are a few medications in this class, quite a few. There's clomipramine, imipramine, amitriptyline, doxepin, nortriptyline, even more than that. Um, like I said, they're not seen as much as they used to be seen because they're a dirty drug with all those different mechanisms. You'll still sometimes see them for things other than depression, migraine prevention, uh, neuropathic pain, some, some other indications as well. Another reason that these medications fell out of favor for depression is that they can be fatal in overdose more easily than some other antidepressant medications. And as you would imagine, giving someone with depression who potentially has a history of an overdose or has suicidal thinking, um, giving them something that they could overdose on would be a negative thing. There's ways to get around it. Uh, I worked at hospitals that if someone was on a TCA at discharge, they would only give them week-long supplies of the medication. And of course, the patient could still be um, not taking it and hoarding each week's supply but it helps against um, something like an impulsive overdose behavior. So I hope that summary helps with the TCA or tricyclic antidepressant drug class. Thank you for listening.